having a good handling facility can go a long ways to making your job of keeping sheep a lot more pleasant. Not only does it save you time, but it's going to save you a lot of frustration. Hi, I'm Janet McNally. I'm owner of Tamarack Lamb and Wool, and I'm going to share with you some of the things that I've incorporated into my facility that have improved the flow of sheep through the system and made it much easier to work with sheep. Some of the features I've included in my system include making the entrance to the system inviting. I do this by using welded wire panels they can see through. This makes them feel a lot more willing to go into the system and it doesn't feel so much like a trap. Another point here worth noting is the sheep entering the handling system on the right can see sheep already in the holding pen on the left. Again, this comforts the livestock and will help them feel more comfortable in this new environment. Next, they go up a dual lead up chute. This is a double wide chute that has panels down the middle that they can see through. Sheep are much more willing to go into your chute system if they have a buddy right beside them. Then it funnels down to a single file chute. This is where the work is done. I have my scale in the middle of the chute rather than at the end so that the sheep can see sheep up ahead and are more willing to walk into the scale and are, will be calmer once they're inside. I've also included a lot of gates for people. Nothing will wear you out more than having to climb over fences all day. My system is designed to wrap around me. There's a couple of reasons for this. One is that the sheep are more willing to travel around a person in a circle. The other reason though is like a well-designed kitchen. It takes fewer steps to walk from one end to the other if it's built like a circle. Here is an aerial view of the system. Notice on the right hand side we have a large round pen. This is the catch pen or the first place that the sheep enter the system. You'll see that we have a number of different ways to enter the system. At the top are two eight foot gates making it a 16 foot opening. On the bottom left we have a 12 foot gate. At the very bottom we have an eight foot gate. That way we can enter from any direction that we need to. The sheep enter the system by the gate at the bottom. That's the crowding pen that they go into first. If we have a lot of sheep, we put them into the holding pen to the left. From the holding pen, the sheep travel back towards the direction that they just came from. This really helps encourage the sheep to move. Sheep are much easier to move back towards where they came from than it is to move them in a direction away from where they just came from. This is the catch pen. As you can see, they can see right through. It's made up of these welded wire panels that are four by four square. I also have some two by four square panels. All our gates are see-through, so the sheep are always facing in the direction that you need them to go. If you have a solid gate, they may not be looking at that as an escape route, and it can be very hard to get them to turn around and look at it. Even the beginning of our dual lead-up chute is open so that they can see out. This encourages the sheep to move into the system. You can see that the sheep move very easily into the system. These lambs have probably been in here four or five times. Last time they were in here was six weeks ago, and this is actually the first run. So they have not had any practice. Let's look at that from the back. You can see that our dual lead up chute is made by taking two U brackets for a single file chute and just simply tying them together and then putting see-through gates up the middle of the system. The detail about our dual lead-up chute is that there must be a gate up in the front. This is a sorting gate that's been installed backwards, and the whole purpose of this gate is to prevent sheep from going up one side, making a U-turn at the top, and going back down the other side, thus clogging up the whole system. You could put a spring in on this gate so that it's in a more neutral position, and then you wouldn't have to come over and manually move it back and forth. Here is a single file working chute. We use this chute for drenching or deworming, ear tagging, weighing, sorting, scanning, hoof trimming, and shearing. I'm demonstrating the use of the sorting gate here. And once that side is done, we can flip the gate and let the other side in. The gates at the front and the back of the system are what are called bifold gates. I find these very quick and easy to use. Isn't it nice when you load your chute system that you don't have to really make any effort to get the sheep up to the front of it, that they will just readily go up there. Having a good border collie is always helpful too. In the sheep stall, I just simply start to walk past them and that gets them moving. As I mentioned, my scale is located in the middle of my handling system. Here is a sheep's eye view of the scale. 
Sheep standing in front of the scale will encourage the sheep behind the scale to enter the scale and they'll be a lot more calmer during weighing. I also have a stand for holding the shearing machine so we can crutch in the chute system. There's a gate there right in front of the scale so I can get in behind the sheep. And we also do our shearing here. Something I haven't mentioned is this cattle chute. This is a Palco cattle crate and it's a lot cheaper than a pur for purpose made sheep handling crate. What I do in here is I tattoo, I trim feet, on, especially on large rams. I use this as a foster gate during lambing. It has a four inch neck opening, which is just perfect for sheep. Not all cattle shoots close down to four inches, so you do have to check that out. I hope this video has given you some ideas that you can incorporate into your handling system to make your life easier with sheep. Bye for now.